Hello, my friends. Two seasons ago, Brandon Whedon was third on the depth chart. When Zach Robinson went down on a Thursday night against Colorado, Mike Gundy did not call Whedon's number until it was almost too late. Caden with more on Thursday night, Brandon. Guess an inexperienced quarterback, do you blitz the heck out of him? It was the game that started it all for Brandon Whedon. He scrambles now, fires the end zone, has a man open, touchdown! I remember the Colorado game like it was yesterday. I remember every throw I made, I remember everything good, everything bad, I remember everything about it. You know, it's funny because it just it happens to be a Thursday night. With Zach Robinson injured, Alex Kate got the start, but went 0 for 9 as the Pokes trailed three win Colorado at the half. I figured I was going to get a chance. I didn't know when. It was going to be second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Who knew? But um, I was pleasantly, surpri pleasantly surprised when I went in at halftime. They told me I'd finally get a shot. Now, Whedon got word from quarterbacks coach Robert Matthews that he would be starting the third quarter. He was the first player out of the locker room, came sprinting out of the tunnel and onto the field. But not for the reason you might think. I didn't have my helmet. I think, I don't know if I told you guys right, my helmet was still on the field. So I was the first one to run out of the tunnel. I sprinted to the sideline, grabbed my helmet, started warming up, and the rest to be told. <laughs> oh, so he left it out here to go in the, yeah, I mean, it's pretty smart. No reason to carry it all the way in if you're not going to use it. Uh, <laughs> no, well, that's what I'm saying. I, from now on, I never leave my helmet on the sideline. Whedon found his helmet and found Justin Blackman in the end zone for the first time. Justin Blackman! To this day, I think that's still one of the more I don't want to be cocky, but I think one of the more impressive throws I've made, you know, and it just happened to be to Blackman. You know, I think if you look back at that throw, I mean, I think it was something that kind of started, you can look at it and it kind of started what was last year, I guess. Yeah, I think, you know, that Colorado game stands out, you know, a little bit more than some of the other. In Stillwater, Caden McFarland, two news works for you. Caden, thank you. Arkansas Athletic.